Hello friends, this is Raj Sastri from Raj Option Trading. Today is November 27th, 2022. Hope you're all doing well. In today's segment, let's take a look at fintel.io and see if it's worth your money. So with that, we'll jump into fintel.io, look at its features and see if it's uh, if it's uh, if it makes sense for you so with that let's jump in and get started look i will go into a uh, you know window here to look at the plans when it comes to pricing fintel.io has got uh, no nonsense easy plans here they got just one plan you can either go with a a quarterly build plan here for 29.75 um, um, monthly or you can go with the annual plan here with the 24.75 uh, $24.75 uh, you know build uh, per month build annually so as you can see here it's a very low cost it does not break your bank and there is no other strings attached it's a pretty you know pretty simple pricing model and there is no bells and whistles so with the, that out of the way here let's go in into the tool itself as you go into the tool you got a bunch of things going on here your landing page which is fintel.io as you can see here it's got some you know news items as you can see here it's got some uh, you know flashy news items here we got here there is a you know a, a disclosure in position in this pharmaceutical company and then we got here blackrock uh, looks like he's uh, uh, cashes in 30 million of stock um, you, know, you, you get some of these uh, you know meaty news here as you can scan through and then what you can do is look you got one more here with the ceo tony he's buying canoe and putting some money uh, on his own stock so you get some of these meaty news in their uh, you know front page so it will kind of you know occupy you as you read through it uh, then you can look through here look at insider buying and selling some of these uh, you know very flashy news you'll see as you will go through this website here <clears throat> then what uh, fintel is famous for is its uh, leaderboard as many of you know here <clears throat> we'll go through a few things here so you, you kind of understand the platform you can start with features here look we got uh, various things going on here um, you know it's got short interest data and um, you know various of these things here you know many folks know fintel for its uh, short interest data we'll go into it it's got various things going on here option flow short interest data alerts you could just set your own alerts and so on and so forth it's got a few pre-built screens and so on and so forth <clears throat> we already talked about the plan um, you know it's got uh, you know two simple plans either quarterly paid plan or annual paid plan um, very simple plans here then you can go into dashboards here as you go into dashboard you can create your own dashboard look i got uh, a simple dashboard here with few stocks here i just want to reduce the number of stocks here because uh, the moment you have dashboard you know you generally get emails on these things that's why i want to keep it simple and look it kind of gives you news uh, from your dashboard you can look at the dashboard and look at the news here and you can also subscribe to alerts for example if i go on the alerts here uh, there are 32 alerts you will also get the alerts in email you can manage your alerts right here if you don't want emails you could uh, just turn it off if you want so there are some alerts as you can see here there are various various of these alerts you'll get it if you don't want it you could just uh, click off here oh right now it's set if you don't want it you can just uh, you know select and uh, just say you don't don't want to receive the alerts here so with that uh, let's go back here and uh, we looked at alerts and you could look at various other things here in the stocks that you have in the dashboard you could look at um, insiders and see what's going on for example you got amazon.com here and look there's an insider here it uh, looks like he sold some stocks you get such news here you know for the stocks in your dashboard you could also look at the ownership and see what's going on here from an ownership perspective and you could look at the disclosures funds flow and so on and so forth and i'm not too much interested in this here so with that let's move on here 
and you could look at my stocks here you could uh, look at your stocks you know i got few stocks in my dashboard that's what it shows in my stocks here then you got my funds if you have any funds i have not uh, selected any funds here i'm not a big fund trader but if you have some mutual funds you could you can add your funds into your list here and then you got shorts this is where um, you know printel is famous for and you could go into big shorts or a short squeeze us for example let's start with the big shorts here as you go into big shorts you can look at the big shorts here now in the big short you see all these big etfs here look we got spy or snp 500 here looks like citadel advisors uh, they are uh, shorting it look there's a put value of 48 million and call value of 25 million and they got their net short uh, like 22 million or so here it kind of gives you idea about the big short positions and look we got uh, beyond meat right here in number five here looks like arena investors they're shorting you know for the with the tune of about uh, you know four million or so here with the put value so you get a good idea what's going on who is shorting some of these stocks and etfs you know many of these many of the cases because these are the big funds here they got various hedging positions going on um, that's why you can't trust this too much here but if you if you see a stock like beyond meat understand there is a big short position here and uh, there may be some down, downward pressure on stocks like this one here all right that's about the big shorts and more many folks are interested in the short squeeze here we'll go into the short squeeze as you want to play the short squeeze game here you could uh, look at this uh, short squeeze as you can see here it's sorted by short squeeze score as you can see here you got a short squeeze score what it's telling you is really it's looking at various uh, criteria um like it's looking at um, look you got the criteria right here it's looking at uh, the float and um, uh, number of shares shorted um, and it's, it's looking at various criteria, and and it's trying to predict based on artificial intelligence coming up with a short squeeze score to really tell you which stock has got uh, most um, most uh, chance of um, creating a short squeeze in this one here you got your getty images as you can see here this has got um, highest rank so that tells you hey you know what getty images maybe it's a good one you know for the short squeeze and then you got a few more here mltx surg and so on and so forth it tells you the previous rank here and the current rank as you can look through here you got the rank right here uh, look it's a uh, third rank right now previous rank was uh, it, it went up by one position here you get a good idea what's going on here and one thing you don't see here is the current stock price i know many of you are wondering where is the current stock price uh, that's why you know many folks are a little bit um, puzzled to use how to use this because uh, you got to you know go into and do a little more research here and as you scan through here we got uh, you know things like borrow fee and uh, all this very various information the moment the borrow fee is high here that tells you you know what the folks who want to short they have to pay a huge borrow fee here it may not be worth their while so it's a nice uh, dashboard here as you can see here um, you know it's a uh, they update it um, pretty frequently here at any point in time you can go in here and look at the short squeeze candidates as you go a little bit forward i will show you some hacks on how to get more out of it um, and how, how do you take this to excel spreadsheet and do some more analysis but right now here you can see at any, any time you know these are the high short squeeze stocks and then you can take one of these stocks and go into a you know tool like trading view which is one of my favorite tool and bring up and say getty here e e t t y and you could do some uh, research on it and see what's going on here look as i bring in getty here uh, look we got a 30 minute chart right here for the getty and we got a one hour chart 
looks like uh, stock is um, look it's um, coming to the downside right now as you can see here and uh, even here the momentum is waning off when this happens i would wait slightly and let it come down to a nice support level somewhere here and then you can jump in right now there is no need to rush so that's why you know just by looking at the short squeeze names here don't jump in you know pull up a chart and especially uh, platform like trading view and uh, you can get some good idea look uh, for the folks who want to get trading view they got a nice 60 percent off sale here and i would recommend looking at uh, this you know if you want a screener uh, especially pro you can get rid of the advertisements and you can have two charts side by side just like i'm having here if you get a pro it's about uh, say $14 or $13 per month with the 60% off it's even lower you could uh, get get this platform pretty easily here and you can have side by side chart like I'm showing here all right and you can also get rid of the advertisements and one best thing is you can download the entire um, you know entire um, stock scanner here that's one of my favorite you know I'm big into data junkie look we got huge set of data you can download this all of this data into excel spreadsheet and do analysis uh, till your heart contents so with that let's go into here and look at some of these things here we got here short squeeze dashboard here we got a few more uh, stocks here so that's about the short squeeze dashboard um, and you might be wondering you know what uh, in some of these things it's hard to see you got security and the you know the uh, the description in the same column here so we will look at some hacks to really make some sense out of it as we go forward and that's about the shorts here you know if you are in different countries like australia canada hong kong so on so forth you can look at the details here and do a little more research on it or if you want to look at uh, some of these stocks in a little more detail for example get images you want to look at this little more you can just click on get images and look it gives you some more information this is um, all about getty images as you can see here it tells you what the short interest and days to cover 2.03 days to cover and tells you short interest as a percentage of float high as you can see here and there is also off exchange short ratio and off exchange uh, short volume ratio bunch of information here and as you scan through you get more information here you get the gamma score and you can look at the you know the timestamp and see how much uh, uh, how much uh, shares short availability look it's uh, going down as you can see here and borrow fees you can look at the borrow fees by you know like a daily increment as you can see here you know, wealth of information for you to do more research here um, you know it's a it's a good one here we can get wealth of information and next we'll go into a few more things here we looked at the shorts here you can also look at uh, higher short interest as a percentage of float here this is just by looking at the percentage of float this is uh, one of my favorite one here you could look at this one also here now it will bring up you know highest um, <clears throat> you know short interest as a percentage of float you got few more companies here look uh, you know we got stocks like berkshire hathaway, hathaway also shown as you can see here um, i would probably you know not go with berkshire hathaway i would not uh, you know uh, go into a short squeeze type situation but anyway berkshire is a good stock to buy all right then we got a few more things going on here we covered the shorts as you can see here and you could also get the highest cost to borrow these are the you know stocks where you know folks who want to short the stocks will be a little bit afraid you can go in here if you want to look at those and you can look at uh, those uh, stocks here you know this platform is a little bit too slower compared to trading view mainly because um, you know they you know they may not be cashing as much like other platform but uh, data wise i think they try to give you the clean data look here we got uh, borrow rate the moment borrow rate is high see these short sellers are a little bit afraid to short them all right so now we'll go into a few more things here next is ownership here um, before we go into the ownership let's uh, see what else is here all right so let's uh, 
okay let's go into owners here as you go into the owners here you got multiple things going on if you want to see um, you know in you know, folks from fintel subscribers if you want to see their ownership of the stocks you could cl click on it it tells you the folks who are subscribed to fintel if uh, if they uh, provide a consent to share their portfolio and link their portfolio to uh, to fintel uh, then you can see their ownership positions here by looking at this looks like the fintel subscribers they have you know these um, uh, in their portfolio look we got uh, stocks like uh, pbr xlu these are the these are heavily um, you know um, have, you know the holdings of this uh, fintel community it kind of gives you an idea what others may be doing here there are some good ones here look uh, i like stocks like eli lilly which is a great one here xli it's a good one xlr is a great one and face is also a good one here uh, if you buy when it's slightly lower price it's also a good one you got some good ones here including tesla and you got some uh, you know really um, um you know um what do you say speculative names like rivian as you can see here so that's what uh, fintel community um is uh, you know uh, holding as of now for the folks who have provided uh, portfolio or a you know broker access to fintel it's a it's really um you know they, they don't uh, sell your information it's very confidential they get some aggregate holding information just to uh, show you what the aggregate holdings from fintel subscribers all right so with that let's jump in here into owners here so in the owners here you got multiple things here you got most popular funds um, activity investors and so on so forth here if you click on most popular funds here you can see here you know you'll see the most popular um, funds as you see here these are the most popular funds i mean you may not be able to um, uh, you may not be able to see what's going on here, but it tells you find most popular stocks held by your favorite funds. So if you click on it, you get some more details here. Uh, this is a way to understand. Uh, look, you got uh, holdings. If you want to see Berkshire Hathaway, look, they got these things. You can see what Warren is holding here. You got Bank of America, uh, Chevron, Coca-Cola, AXP, as you can see, are big holdings. And he's got relatively uh, lower, smaller holdings, as you can see here. A good way to understand if you want to follow Warren Buffett, you can look at this and, uh, you know, look at how Warren Buffett is increasing his uh, shares in certain stock, you know, certain companies versus decreasing, as you can see here. The one on the left-hand side is, you know, where Warren is increasing here, like Taiwan Semi, as you know, Apple and so on and so forth here. Looks like Warren Buffett also has some snowflake. Uh, he's increasing snowflake, which is a good story. And he's reducing some of these companies, as you can see here. It gives a good idea on uh, what, uh, you know, these big funds are doing. It's always good to understand what the big, big funds are doing. And you could go back here and look at other things. For example, you love stocks like Bridgewater Associates. Bridgewater is, uh, you know, Ray Dalio is a founder here. You got Bob Prince. It's a smart money. Look, if you click on it, it will tell you what Bridgewater House is holding. Look, he's, he's also got uh, stocks like Pepsi, Coca-Cola, and so on and so forth. And he's got you know, a bunch of smaller holdings, as you can see here. But as you look through here, it tells you what uh, Ray Dalio is buying off rate, what he's adding. Look, he's adding Visa, Mandalis, and Pepsi, and so on and so forth here. Looks like uh, he also has got PINDRD, or PDD, Chinese company, as many of you know here. He's increasing uh, some of its holding, as you can see here. Whereas he's reducing some of these companies, uh, including S&P 500, is reducing it slightly, as you can see here. Um, it kind of tells you what these big folks are thinking about. All right, it's a very good one here. You can um, do an X-ray vision on any of these, uh, your favorite funds. For example, we got ARK Investments, which is our Kathy Wood, as you know here. If you want to see what Kathy is doing, uh, Kathy has got a lot of speculative names, as many of you know here. You can click on it and see what Kathy is doing here. Look, Kathy has got all these uh, stocks here, all speculative names, as you can see here. Uh, Roku, uh, UiPath, and so on and so forth. She's big on Tesla and, uh, you know, ZM, which is Zoom. And she had been uh, buying some of these companies. 
uh, look we got ntla dna so on so forth here she's buying these companies here whereas she's uh, reducing the you know reducing some of these companies as you can see here it's good to understand what smart money is doing that's why you know fintel is body providing that information all right that's about the own owners here um, and then you could also look at active investors uh, what they're doing for example if you click on it here you'll see what activist investors are thinking about look we got few activity investors here they got huge portfolio values as you can see here and look we got uh, you know let's click on one of these here and see what's going on here uh, look, we got 836 Bank of America DE activist fund name here, Blackstone and so on and so forth. We got Starboard Value, which is one of the famous, uh, you know, um, famous activist uh, company, as many of you know here. If you click on Starboard here, it tells you what's going on and what are their holdings. You can get some good idea. Looks like Starboard is big on uh, GoDaddy, as you can see here. And you got a few more information. Good to know where activists are playing and what stock they're holding because they know how to add the value uh, to some of these companies if they're big on those all right let's go back here and if you want to look at the first company here looks like mario gabili he's got uh, uh, let's see this uh, you know this one is the biggest one so far let's click on this here bank of america corp and if you click on it here you'll see what's going on here you get more information here look they're big on uh, these big companies as you can see here that's good to know and they're decreasing in microsoft increasing in tesla uh, you can see what's going on here all right so now we're done with uh, ownership owners here and uh, you know if you have a subscription you can look at some more information here uh, let's see what's going on all right okay it's uh, uh let's uh, say here uh, wait oh good okay all right so we are in the owner's page here so you get the in good information then there's some fund fund sentiment um you can click on fund sentiment here you'll see what's going on here we got a few stocks here and we got um, prior owners owner count owner change is it uh, increasing or decreasing allocation so on so forth here you got some good fund sentiment here if you want to search for your own favorite stock here for example apple aapl there is much going on here tesla looks like it's this is by fund as you can see or not by stock that's why you can search for the fund all right now let's jump in here and look at the dividends you know for the folks who are dividend investors you could click on it and for example let's click on united states here you'll get uh, you know good dividend paying companies as you can scan through here look we got these companies there is a dividend yield dividend score and you could um, you could look at the dividend score and sort by dividend dividend score here and as you can scan through we got a uh, dividend score let's uh, do a descending order here look from a dis, um, dividend score perspective we got here arch nice and high dividend look yield is 16 uh, percent um, and then you got pioneer which is one of my favorite stock here pioneer natural gas nice dividend and we got few more as you can see here so it's uh, good to understand what you know if you're a dividend holder what uh, what stocks you can buy just by looking at uh, this itself and it also tells you are these companies uh, increasing the dividend or decreasing for example pioneer natural gas it's increasing its dividend which is good to know and look even uh, ctra cortera energy they're increasing its dividend that tells you these companies are plush with the cash they want to increase the dividend for example omf is slightly reducing its dividend uh, whereas uh, you know some other company like devon energy which is one of my favorite they're increasing its dividend you could go after the companies which are increasing its dividend and uh, probably you know look at some of these companies and research a little more and add it to your dividend portfolio and if you want to search such a company for example if you want to say okay let me check j and j which is a dividend aristocrat look we got j and j here they're paying around 2.55 percent dividend dividend score is 50 middle of the road as you can see here 
all right so now now let's jump in here going to earnings per share if you want to see earnings per share upcoming upcoming earnings um, in the united states you could click on it you'll uh, get a nice uh, picture here upcoming earnings 1128 for some of these companies um, upcoming earning date and market cap and uh, basically some basic information if you want to look at the earnings calendar this is a good information here all right so that's about eps here and then there are insiders this is a famous feature of uh, um, of this uh, platform here you know whenever insiders buy their in their, their own company stock it's always a good sign here um, my favorites are really i like to look at uh, you know ceo purchasing in last seven days and see what's going on here look if you click on it it tells you the companies you know just a quick information here you got company name and you got uh, right here the ticker ticker symbol of the company and in, in here it tells these are all ceo buying here and ceo is purchasing and the total value is at twenty thousand dollars and look here we got a petv uh, not too much here you can look at the big ticket items here and see where where there's a huge value um, and look at those for example here maia Look, we got two purchases going on here, and it's about uh, eighty thousand dollars, as you can see here. So it gives you a good idea of where the insiders are putting their money. All right, that's about uh, CEO buying. You could also look at insiders buying, and um, if you look at insider buying here, look, we got nice and high insider buying here. There is also insider sentiment score, and it kind of gives you a good idea what's going on here. We got some of these companies. Uh, look all these companies we got uh, insiders buying and uh, there is a change in price percentage after they bought what the percentage it kind of gives a good idea what's going on here it also tells you look we got l this company lrmr here look uh, somebody inside is a bought thirty six thousand dollars worth here which is a good one here net dollar you could look at some of these high net dollar here those could be the good ones where you can focus your energy and do a little more research look we got six flags here twenty one thousand dollars worth i could do some more research on stocks like this one here all right so you could also look at significant buying it's a good one you could look at significant buying this is where you know uh, this table shows the largest insider uh, open market purchases look we got ryan tnya and so on so forth and you can also see the value here um value value change look they're putting a lot of money here look this ryan here um they're putting in 32 million dollars as you can see here so it's uh, you know good to see the folks are really buying their own company stock here all right so now we got uh, this is one of my favorite one here you could look at uh, this one here and you could look at insider buying insider selling if you want to look at who is selling their own stock it's also good to know here look we got some companies here with the insider selling you know many times insiders are like us they want some money i would uh, give more importance to insiders buying than selling because they sell for various reasons but when they buy that shows the conviction all right that's about uh, insiders next is options you know many folks don't know about uh, you know this feature of uh, fin fin fintel you know if you want to look at option flow you can pay say 50 60 100 dollars to other platforms and you could uh, go into flow all go as an example it's about 120 dollars and you, or you can go into uh, you know tools like fintel you can look at uh, your latest option flow right here if you click on here it tells you the latest option flow by ticker symbol here and if you want to look at uh, you know what's going on here what's hot what's not just by looking at this here you know keep a watch on the net premium here it kind of summarizes uh, the big option flow here look these are only the large block orders by made by institutions typically block order means at least uh, twenty thousand dollars or more uh, this could be sweep or the bob blocks so that's why it's uh, you know this this is really smart money where the smart money is buying what it tells you is really smart money is buying st lauder companies el uh, at the tune of 13 million dollars in uh, this is uh, you know just one trading day which is a slow trading day 11 22. you know that tells you, you know what there is some there is some positive uh, indication here st lauder can go higher 
because smart money is push, putting money into the stock here and you can also get other information what the market cap uh, how many calls bought you know from a this is really the count uh, perspective how many orders but look they bought a lot of call premium here uh, they spent 13 million dollars to buy this call as you can see here and you can see tesla here tesla looks like some positive um, money coming in here after a long um, down couple of weeks here looks like tesla is on a positive um, you know positive premium level here folks are buying tesla call options at the tune of about uh, you know five million and there's also some put as you can see here but on in in aggregate it's positive net premium that's a good story here you could look at your favorite stocks and see what's going on here it gives a good idea if you want to put some money here or if you want to buy some call option you could research on these stocks here where uh, where the net pro net premium is positive here and if you want to look at some down beaten down stocks here you could go all the way down here looks these stocks here um uh, you know they they all of them have got negative uh, premium here and you could look at the one at the bottom here look advanced micro devices one of my favorite stock here but on friday what's going on is uh there's a negative net premium here looks like folks are buying more put options than call option look call option 121k whereas uh, 121k whereas put options is 4.13 million that's why it's a negative premium that's not not so hot right now it's a very good feature here and if you want to look at a little more details into this uh, you can click on it for example tesla one of my favorite stock if you want to know what's going on in tesla if you want to look at the option flow in detail you could click on tesla here uh, it will bring up a nice option flow detail look i like uh, like it i mean it's not uh, uh, you know from a visual perspective from a filtering perspective you don't have all the features in other option uh, flow platform but in a nutshell you can see what's going on here look on um, on friday here shortened day just a half day trading looks like tesla people are buying call option look uh, days to expiration just seven days which is uh 12 2 uh, they're putting a lot of money here look at the look at the premium paid 171,096 259 they're putting so much money into tesla 200 strike as you can see here when the stock price is 182 this tells you there's a high chance tesla stock can reach 200 by next uh, you know by next uh, like 12 22 which is next week in seven days so you get a good idea what's going on here you can drill down into the option flow so this is how i use it and it also tells you just by looking at this here they got some uh, you know some uh, coding here on what's the indication here by looking at whether it's a traded below bid or uh, above bid they kind of come up with the color coding or everything that you see in the green these are the bullish trades everything you see in the pink here they, they're all the bearish play here we got some bearish going on here and look at the trade here you know whenever it's a multi-sweep that tells you regardless of the price these folks just want to buy tesla call they don't really worry about the price they're paying the current market price and the sweeping across the exchange uh, to buy this call option that tells you that it's very bullish here and you know as you can see there's also some bearish sweep also going on here and as you can see here bearish sweep there is some amount but on an aggregate like as we saw in the previous slide here on an aggregate it's positive if we go back here in the previous page on an aggregate for tesla there is a positive net premium that tells you it's positive um you know there is a positive sentiment on uh, last uh, uh, friday for tesla so that's about one day here you might wonder wonder okay you know what that's fine that's one day but tell me a little more maybe seven days no 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 issues you could go into option flow uh, last seven days it kind of aggregates the last seven days block trades here and brings you a nice leaderboard here if you want to see this is my favorite here i don't just look at last one day here this tells you in last seven days what's uh, leading what's lagging look in last seven days we got pbr here st lauder again we saw that before also mp materials these are all leading and more money is going in going in here the net premium as you can see here is positive uh, looks like uh, 
Petro PBR here after getting beaten down big time after the election. Now it's going higher. Folks are putting money here. So you could go along and buy some PBR by looking at the chart, of course. And then as you look through here, if you want to see who are lagging, you can go all the way down here. And look, we got all these companies here. None other than Tesla in a seven day time frame. Tesla is lagging with a lot of negative uh, net, net uh, premium here. But they're turning the corner when you saw one day flow before it's turning the corner like then you got your alibaba amazon meta they're all in the lagging column right now they're uh, not doing great but you could take a look at those um, into a little more detail if you want to look at tesla if you want to look at the details of the flow you could click on tesla here now instead of one day here you'll get a seven day worth of flow look we got uh, um, 1225 as you can see here and then you got 12, uh, I mean 11.25, 11.24. Now it's seven day worth of option flow data, very rich here. I think uh, Fintel is doing good job. I mean, they don't have all the bells and whistles like other option flow platform. But for you to really see what's going on from a flow perspective, you could uh, use this one here. You can't find the flow data in platform like TradingView. You don't see this. You don't see this in Finviz. And you don't see it in uh, you know uh, many platforms. You don't see this. You have to pay money for it. Whereas Fintel, with their low price subscription plan, they will make it available for you. It's a good one for you to make use of all right so you know you might wonder you know what um, i'm not an options guy um i'm not a, a stock guy i'm an etf guy no problem you could go on the etf here you got a good idea what's going on in a one day basis on 11.25 look uh, china is coming up here k web look a lot of people are putting money into china and you could you can see here we got uh, xlv which is healthcare some money going into it even though it's a half day money is going in there and you might click on it and see what's going on here detailed uh, flow for k web look what's going on here a lot of positive money going into uh, k web here chinese uh, um, internet stocks as many of you know here and look these are all sweep orders regardless of price they want to get in and they're paying a lot of good money here look they're paying uh, two ninety two thousand dollars as you can see here and you can see the time stamp here both happen at the same time as you can see here and you can also see if it's an opening, if they know for sure, they will say opening. Uh, if it is a negative flow, uh, it will be in uh, red color here. They're buying some uh, put option here that shows here, but they will aggregate it all the way for you in this uh, dashboard here. Aggregate in, in aggregate, uh, K will be positive from an ETF, uh, you know, net premium perspective. And if you want to see what's uh, not doing great, uh, don't worry. Look here. We got our big ETFs here, SPY, IWM, so on and so forth here. Look, they're all negative um, net premium here on um, on uh, Friday. That tells you these folks might uh, you know have some trouble as you go into uh, Monday opening. All right. So, you know, many times I just like to look at, uh, you know, maybe a little bit longer horizon. I typically like to look at, uh, you know, for example, once you have this, if you want to just uh, look, look into one uh, one ETF, you could look at it. For example, you might wonder, hey, tell me what's going on with my SMH. I'm a big semiconductor guy. No problem. Just uh, uh, say SMH here. SMH is not too high volume on uh, last Friday here. Or you can say here QQQ. It tells you QQQ. As you can see here, you got right here, slightly positive. Uh, there's some positive premium going on for QQQ. All right, next you could look at seven day ETF here, one of my favorite. I always like to look at uh, seven days, it gives a good trend here. Look from a seven day perspective, looks like MSI, uh, EAF, EFA is having some positive premium here. And these ones here, look, uh, all these things are having some positive premium here, including silver. You got KWeb, China is again in the positive for the week also. You can go after, like, you know, the trend. If you see, it's uh, uptrend in seven days, uptrend in one day. Trend might continue. You can, you can go after stocks, you know, ETF like KWeb here. And on the negative side here, look, money is coming out of these names here. We got, uh, you know, these stocks here, QQQ, SPY. Look, there is a negative net premium going on here that tells you 
it's uh, you know getting a little bit uh, you know weaker but we saw qqq even though it's negative in a seven day basis in one day basis is positive that tells you qqq is trying to turn a corner potentially you could uh, look at those things all right so now we got few more things here look we got uh, we got few more things we could look at options but if you want to see here what i want to just look at the option flow here um and um, you know let's show me all the real time option feed no problem you could just click on option flow here it's a real time feed you know fintel tries to at least uh, give you a feed as and when they get it maybe it could be maybe you say five ten minutes delayed um you know probably but at least you get the unfiltered data this is all the option flow here and look toward the market close on uh, on friday here you got uh, folks bought uvxy uh, looks like they're buying call option here um, thinking stocks might come down they can benefit from uvxy which is a um, which, which is a volatility play as many of you know here and they're buying spy call option here uh, sorry spy actually they're uh, they are actually selling the spy put as you can see here selling put is a bullish strategy as many of you know here and they're putting some good money uh selling the put options on spy when the stock price is at um, at uh, say 402 they're selling 401 put it's a pretty you know they get a very good price for it and uh, it's a bullish position and looks like we got some bullish in amazon nvidia and so on and so forth it's uh, queuing up again let's uh, wait for a minute look we got all these names here you can see what's a uh, green meaning you know positive flow what's red meaning negative flow it's a uh, you know really good information for you to take a look at and uh, make some sense out of it all right so now we got uh, more information we looked at the option flow here you might want to see hey you know what from an options perspective tell me what's bullish when a put call ratio uh, you know by looking at the put call ratio you could see whether it's bullish or bearish you can say what's a bullish look just click on it you can see what's bullish here we got some of these companies you can tell see what's bullish by looking at the put call ratio and the put call ratio is uh, you know less than one it's a bullish and when it's lower than when it's above one it's bearish they kind of give you some idea i would uh, do a little more research on it some of these stocks may not be super active in the options world here that's why i would uh, do a little more research i would not take this uh, you know just by itself i would uh, combine this with some other data like open interest otherwise uh, this can become meaningless because uh, this doesn't mean anything but you could just slightly go down when the value is uh, say more than say 0 0.25 that's when it starts making some sense otherwise uh, you know some of these may not make too much sense and then you got a uh, bearish play here put call ratio bearish um, and then you got a few more things here we got sec filing you know these guys do a good job you can go into sec filing sec forms and they try to really um, help you with highlighting some of the text in the sec so you can make some sense out of it as you open it for example if i open it here um, i think uh, you know you can see some information here but normally they try to make it easy to read the read this sec filings by color coding and highlighting some things here for example let's look at 13 sec forms for one of these companies we got all these things here if you open this here i think uh, this fint fintel folks try to color code things uh, just to make it easy for you so it's uh, not laborious for you to go through some of these things here all right so look it's got a big form you could look at all these forms right here but i'm not too much into these forms as you can uh, see here all right so let's look at a few more things here if we were uh, somewhere in uh, sec filings here you could look at all the filings and <clears throat> my favorite thing is a uh, screener here they got a small sc screener um many of you know here you know the traditional screeners are point and click um whereas fintel has got a little bit different approach when it comes to workbench uh, if you are a little bit techy um you know it, it helps uh, if you have some knowledge about uh, sql um, or maybe java or some programming language background slightly it will help otherwise also no big deal you can easily work through this fintel workbench but understand fintel workbench is not point and click 
like trading view and so on and so forth here so you could go in here look they got some sample query for you uh, if you want to see this here so what it tells you is really i'll quickly explain it to you whenever you see uh, slash and star this is a block comment this whole thing is a comment here so that's what it indi indicates uh, it's just a comment for you to for us to document what it is and then you got your country equal to us you don't need to provide this by default country is us but if you want to specify you can specify this and exchange not equal to otc they want to avoid some small stocks here um, and then you got your mid cap they already gave you some sample here market cap more than 100 million and less than 3 billion you can use m and b uh, you know to indicate million and billion or you could say trillion and then you got your price more than one dollar and price about 20 day ema look uh, when it says ema um, and you got flower brackets and 20 day that tells you price more than 20 day and then you got assets minus liabilities greater than 2.0 this is a really valuation metric as many of you know here you know what this is trying to tell you is really uh, this workbench can do more than what uh, trading view and uh, you know finviz can do you can have some formula you know in trading view or you know in uh, finviz you can't write a formula like this asset minus liability is greater than you know 2.0 you cannot write these formulas instead you got to choose from their filter criteria that's why this is powerful if you want to run this here you could just say get results look we got uh, all these stocks here and you can see here sma 20 day and um, uh, we got here as you know ema 20 day um, look we got all these values here uh, some of these are by default provided to you like exchange here we did not select exchange it came up ticker came up and then you got market cap we got 20 day ema here um, and uh, we got price as you can see here um, and our criteria is uh, price greater than 20 day ema as you can see here it's a good uh, good list here um, and you know for many of you folks you know you want your own uh, your own um, you know uh, fields to be displayed here um, myself included so what you could do is really you could um, you know comment some of these things here write your your own queries and go from there for now i will uh, write a simple query so you, can, you understand the power of this uh, screener here and go from there look um, for, for now i will remove the you know price here uh, i will just uh, comment this out here and asset minus liabilities i'll comment this out here what i want to see is a few things i want to look at price the market cap and so on so forth here and um, let's see you know for now i will also you know uh, look at some criteria look we got country that's fine exchange not equal to otc that's fine i will basically say market cap uh, let's see here i'll say market cap to begin with market cap greater than one billion dollars you should always put a semicolon as you can see here that tells you uh, this command is kind of you know it's a indication to say this line is done um, and i want to see some more things here i want to look at open interest option open interest look many platforms like trading view and uh, other platforms won't give you option open interest i will just say option and if you want to see all the all the columns available to me i can press control and space here and look there's all this information here what i want is option open interest i will go here and look there's a call option open interest i will select that here call open option open interest and i also want a put option open interest i will say option um, instead of call i will say put and i can just uh, copy this right here and go from there here and i'm just getting the call option open interest and put option open interest and you know what you know i'm a big uh, you know short guy i want to look at short squeeze candidates i can just look at the short squeeze uh, um, or short interest here i'll say short and i will control and space and look there is a short borrow rate short interest and let's just scan through here we got um, various uh, short interest uh, things here short interest from float and so on and so forth 
<clears throat> so I will select here short interest percent float um, look at uh, short interest here and I also want to see the borrow rate here I will say short again and control and space and I want to see short uh, interest borrow rate here and look as you go down here uh, we got all these uh, various things borrow rate I'll just select this here this is for US I can select that one here and you might want to see short interest change how, how it's changing it's going higher or lower you can say short and say control and the space here and you can look at here and see short interest change in one month you can see in one month is the short interest going higher or lower and if you go down here i think you got some more information i would just select this one month here all right since many of this information is not available in many of the platforms and now you might want to say you know what uh, i'm also options guy i want to look at uh, you know options volume no problem you could you, you can not only look at the option in open interest you could look at the option volume also so i would go here and say um, option and i would uh, just say control and space and look we got option all this information here i can look at here uh, option um, call bot volume if you want to look bot volume sold volume you could do that too or you can just look at volume itself here as i come down here look uh, option call volume i want this and i will also say option put volume so you can look at the put oops let's uh, undo here and you could also look at the put volume and uh, look i'll copy this here and instead of call i will say put here there you go you look at call volume put volume and many times you know i, I like to look at the put call ratio i will say um put and i'll put uh, control and space here and i want to look at put call ratio <clears throat> um i'll say i'll start with the option most of these option related uh, you know uh, information start with the option i'll say option and control and space here look there is a option put size and so on so forth i want put call ratio here and you go here down keep going down here option uh, let's see here um option average size option bought um and, and keep going here option monthly okay so look here we got open interest call premium uh, call okay keep going down here look we got option put call ratio right here you could uh, select option put call ratio um and go from there um <clears throat> and you know there is uh, you know various other information that you can see here but this uh, you know does it for me and you might want to see you know what i you know price it shows by default as you can see here but if you want to see the price you know how is uh, price moving in one month no problem you could see that also fintel also gives you all these terms you know what you can select if you go here it's got list of columns that you can choose here um, and you know for the price i would go here look there's a price momentum one month um, it tells you the price general change over the past one month i'll select here price momentum one month here and go back to my workbench and add price momentum one month here all right so we got price and i will add price momentum one month right here and they, they also have some short squeeze score for example um or you know if you want to see short squeeze score no problem you could add a short squeeze score also here look we got uh, let's see here i think we are right here in this year uh, we can add short squeeze score right here price momentum one month and you can add the short squeeze score i can say short here and control and uh, space and look we got uh, short interest and uh, various of these columns as you can see here look we got short score short score tells you you know are the folks shorting now is the short score increasing you can add that if you want more importantly let's add short squeeze score that tells you what the possibility of uh, a squeeze happening they it's really based on their art, artificial intelligence you can add that one here and for the folks you want to see gamma squeeze in the same uh, thing here you can say gamma 
and uh, control and space here look we got a gamma squeeze score right here you could th add that one also here all right so uh, look uh, we added put volume and put call ratio um, you know in addition to put call ratio the put call ratio here option put call ratio looks at put call ratio by open interest but if you want to put call ratio by volume you could say just say put here and control space um, control space So we're trying to get put call uh, ratio here. Um, uh, let's uh, try to do this again. When I say gamma, it showed up. Uh, let's see here. All right, so click on volume here. And as you scan through here, option, option, uh, let's go to option put. Look, we got option put call ratio that's what we selected and as you go down here there is an option put call volume ratio All right, so let's uh, try one more time here. All right, let's uh, <clears throat> leave it for a different time here. So as you can see here, you can uh, write your own criteria here um, and go from there. If I say click on get results here, you can see here all these stocks that we selected here. We got your option interest, uh, call open interest, put open interest, short interest short float here um, and so on and so forth you might want to say you know what i want to look at um, short sc score high short score no problem you could just write here you can say short score uh, you can say order buy order buy and we'll go right here and you can order by maybe short interest float here you could do that um, and say descending all right so you know many times when you want to do short squeeze you don't want the big companies what we'll do is we'll pay it back here instead of market cap uh, more than 1 billion here we'll comment this out here and we'll say market cap maybe mid cap or low cap is good for you uh, we'll say market cap more than one um, you know 100 100 million and less than 3 billion that's a perfect situation for uh, squeeze here you could uh, leave it here or you could even say uh, 10 billion here and uh, look you can click on it and uh, look we got uh, all our criteria here um, and look we got all these companies here that uh, those are you know, really uh, you know squeeze type candidates here but you know you don't need to worry about uh, squeeze you know whether it's squeeze or not um, they got various criteria uh, let's see what's going on here it's uh, finished no results so let's do one thing here um, I think it didn't like this order buy here let's comment the order buy and go from there look we got these companies here um, you know all these stocks are right here you could uh, you know you could click on it you could uh, you know one thing you see here we got ticker here you know if you want to bring it to excel spreadsheet you can do some magic but you could you could also add something like this called symbol here for example if i add a symbol right here you'll get the actual um you know, actual ticker without any us dot whatnot look we got a symbol uh, showing up right here somewhere all right so once you like this uh, probably didn't, didn't show up here in this one but you know if you like the query you could also just save screen by just clicking on save screen i will just say um, ad hoc so once you save the screen and it's available for you you can uh, go change it later uh, and so on and so forth here and and if you want this you know it says no result found it's a newly created strategy it might take some time that's why you know if you want to really you know get result fast i would say you know just uh, go in and write a 
click you know quick option screener here this is always fast but if you write a query it takes some time for them to you know really um you know make sure um run it maybe they will run it later and have the result ready for you but look you can always uh, write your own query in the scanner um, and uh, it will provide the results here and look, we got all these stocks here. And um, beauty of this platform is really, once you write a query, um, you know, you can write any complex query like you saw here. You could, uh, you know, click all these things. For example, I will say select all. And, um, you know, it kind of selected all. I could open a new Excel spreadsheet here. And I could go right here and go into my Excel spreadsheet. And look, voila, right here, Excel and look uh, we got uh, all this information i could dump them into excel spreadsheet and do the analysis uh, you know till uh, till uh, you you're satisfied for example now we got here all these names i will just copy it right here and now we got all the information in excel spreadsheet you know it's a lot of information as you can see here it takes a while to copy but once you copy it you can uh, you know make a uh, more things here look i'm not interested in all these uh, things here i'll really delete all the details here not interested we got the 34,000 securities uh you know it's uh went through i'll delete all these guys here and go all the way down here and uh, look there is all these uh, things i'm not interested i'll remove all these things down here we got 3066 stocks as you can see here and i'll delete all these guys here <clears throat> now we got some good data here um look um right now ticker it's got some uh, you know things here i'm not interested in this i will add a new column here and i'll say you know what i i need to really find the t real ticker here i'll say symbol and you could go into you know i got some small cheat sheet here i will just add this here i want to just get the symbol just the symbol uh, no equal to no signs so i'll just copy this here and i will view my uh, let's see your home view form formula builder and i'll also view ribbon here all right this is good so look we got column c here and i'll go here and uh, copy this right here trim i want to find a colon here and i want to copy up to colon look we got colon and there you go now we got here uh, instead of e2 here it's really c2 which is column c as you can see here column c is the ticker with some um, you know some other information look uh, we got the information instead of left i will say right i want to get the things to the right of this here all right look we got the symbol symbol here um you know we're getting the symbol from uh, this sticker list here and voila you got all your symbols here and uh, looks like in some scenarios we got uh, in a colon also here and some we didn't get the colon i can just get it off this here and just uh, go here edit um say find and replace i don't want this uh, colon here i'll say colon i don't want anything else replace so you could do something like this here look some of the symbols here we got some dot here and so on and so forth um you don't need to uh, you know we can remove those dots but you know more importantly if i go back here if i go to my queries here if i now it may be ready if i go back here to my uh, screener here and go on um, um, my screen screeners here and we just created ad hoc probably it's ready right now or it may be even thinking it's not ready yet but you get the idea now you get got all your symbols here and you could uh, take these symbols into your platform for example you want to sort it by say short squeeze uh, or a you know short interest here let's uh, just go here and uh, show the ribbon view ribbon and i will just uh, see this in a little more clarity here wrap text look we got short uh short percentage float here i will sort by that here in a descending order sort i want short interest float uh right here and i will say is uh, largest to smallest and i got all my you know stock with the high short interest on top here hopefully 
Now look, short inter float, you got all these companies with high short interest <clears throat> and you could uh, take them. You know, what I typically do is really, I, you know, I, I go into uh, their canned ones here. Look, we got uh, shorts here. You could go to uh, short squeeze US. This is a good one to take. For example, you can take all these names here. These are all short squeeze candidates and you could just copy this here, like uh, just copy um, or actually select all and copy this is a good one to take it instead of uh, the one we created you can just copy it like this right, like this here and now you can get rid of all these guys here and look we got a quick excel spreadsheet um, with all these uh, short squeeze leaders and you could uh, do some more research on them um, and uh, you know go from there look i will delete all these guys here and then i will add one more column uh, to the left right here i will just call it a uh, uh, ticker so here i'll go and uh, you know select this uh, for, you know uh, excel macro here and instead of d here look it's a c i will say c2 Whenever I find a um, slash, I want to get up to that uh, place here. Uh, I will just get it right here. All right. So I should have. There you go. Let's uh, start from down here. Um, look, C2. Uh, it's C3. That's good. Uh, left, we got D3. Instead of C3, I'll say D3 here and d3 there you go i think we should be good to go here look we got getty so look we got these uh, symbols here these are the high short squeeze uh, candidates here now what you can do is you can take all these things here and uh, you know take it to your uh, trading view platform and do some research look i'll take, copy this here i will um, you know really uh, create a new screen here let's say new and i will copy them right here and um, instead of copying i'll say copy uh, paste special here and adjust the value and i could just uh, save this as uh, as you can see here i will create a csv uh, which is a comma separate file and i will say um, csv here right here and i will say short one all right now we got our short one csv ready in the download directory i can go into my trading view platform right now and uh, look we got trading view right here and look i can go just here and uh, i can create short one as you can see i'll say import from the list here and i could go into my download directory as you can see here and short one csv and now we got our short one uh, right here. Now you could research some more here in TradingView platform. Uh, this is how you can get your short data into, um, into TradingView platform. Look, we got all these stocks here. You can see, okay, you know what, Getty, it's a you know, big short squeeze position here. You can probably wait slightly, let it come down slightly, then you can buy, mainly because look, momentum is uh, waning away right now. You could uh, uh, wait slightly and you could look at other names here. This is why, this is how you could get the data out of Fintel into your uh, uh, favorite trading platform, as you can see here. Uh, there are a bunch of things you can do here with these formulas. You know, they got the various things. If I go back to, uh, go back here into the workbench here, you know, keep watching here. They got all these uh, timestamps. If you want to compare price more than price in one year, or revenue growth is more than, they got wealth of information here. You could, uh, you know, get them into a, you know, into a um, query and you could um, you know really uh, do magic out of the data they provide a lot of data but they're weak when it comes to um, really sorting searching filtering you know real time that's where a platform is lacking but when it comes to basic data they got all the data they got stock data options data um, even options flow you don't see this wealth of information in any, any of the tools that you normally see and we looked at the screener um, you know there are there are also all these uh, pre-defined screeners by fintel you could uh, look at short volume ratio insider selling insider buying you know pietro key score this is one of my favorite you could uh, look at that here 
it will come up in a minute these are really fundamentally strong companies we just got Piotrowski score greater than six these are some greatest companies with nice uh, you know nice uh, um, uh, books um, uh, financial books look we got uh, these names here this company they got Piotrowski score seven these are great ones here look you could just look at companies I love some of these companies look global foundries uh, ship shape, ship shape um, books here uh, you could look at these companies here and uh, invest invest in them and if you want to get them into excel spreadsheet you could just copy them just like we did and get the symbols from here and take them to trading view or your favorite platform and do some some more research and like this you can see all this uh, you know um, all this uh, um, multiple things uh, created by the platform these are pre-canned screeners you could click on them <coughs> if you want to learn more about the the language and um, queries you could look at some of the predefined queries look uh, we got here a query here uh, defined by fintel it tells you it's, look we got rank um, and look they are saying rank more than 75 you could also do such things here you can rank certain rankable columns here and come up with your own ranking look we got a nice ranking here when it comes to rank percentile book to market these are some great uh, you know inbuilt uh, scanners created by fintel and you know many folks uh, just use short squeeze and short uh, the gamma squeeze but look there is a wealth of inf information here including peer to cf score mid cap value quality value and so on and so forth and you could create your own screens like i did i did here and uh, save them um, and then you got few more here we got intersect if you want to see portfolio builder fund funds intersect chain equity us dividend you could look at these things here if you click on portfolio builder and fund intersect it kind of tells you here um, look we got uh, security beyond meat shares um, change in ownership it kind of tells you what's going on here you can discover um, so look here they're saying you know you can select any fund here if you don't know what fund you could uh, say small cap value they're giving some idea here it'll kind of get you the fund here and if you try maybe spy here uh, let's say search it may not find it oh we got some spy related things look we got all these things here um or you can say vanguard look we got all these vanguard funds here um and if you want any of the fund if you want to see what what's in the fund you could click on it and get more information here vanguard specialized and vanguard star fund and so on and so forth here wealth of information here um and you can uh, click on any of them and get more information here and for this example let's look at uh, maybe one of these uh, vanguard star front fund here i will add here and you could uh, Now you could go to probably it's added to my fund here you could uh, do a little more research on these funds here i'm not a big fund guy as you can see here and you could uh, look at other things here there is uh you know intersect and multiple things here you could select those i'm not big into funds and then you could also do some explore here there's daily brief market industry etf database industry explorers and so on so forth here and you know many times folks may not understand they got a nice uh, options also here if i select a stock here like apl which is apple and if i just say apple here <clears throat> and look they got various things going on here what i want to see is apple overview you can click on the apple overview um you know you can um, you know look at this here let's give it a minute now we got a quick apple overview here if you want to research a single stock here you could uh, do a lot of things nice chart as you can see here they provide you the value management effective short interest rate and wealth of information as you can see here it's in vanguard blackrock and uh, and you can also do uh, go into options chain if you want to look at options chain here look you can go into go in right here in under options you can look at cam exposure option sentiment option chain normally i love to look at option sentiment they kind of provide some good information here as you click on op option sentiment here let's wait for it to come up look it kind of tells you um 
look we got expiration date 122 which is next week open interest call open interest put open interest put call ratio tells you put call ratio over the period of time tries to understand and see what's going on here <clears throat> The moment put call ratio comes down its uh, stock is uh, becoming a little more bullish as you can see here somewhere in may 2023 apple was bearish as you can see here and now it's uh, becoming bullish that's a good sign here put call ratio is coming down that's a good sign and then there's wealth of uh, wealth of information you can look at put open interest call open interest put call ratio and put call uh, you got both put call ratio and uh, you know put call ratio otm a lot of wealthy information here and you know if you want to look at um, option flow you don't need to worry you can just right from here you can click on option flow it brings up apple's option flow as you can see here we got uh, apple's option flow here looks like on uh, friday we got some put option um, buying going on here folks are worried they're putting around hundred thousand dollars or so buying some put option but look uh, there is also some good um, buying going on call option buying going on here put option selling which is positive more money there so it gets a good idea to gauge the direction all right so we are in the options world here one of my favorite thing is really the gamma exposure to get a gamma exposure here to you know go into some platform pay a lot of lot of money but um, this platform gives the gamma exposure as you can see here you can go right here into apple and look at the gamma exposure they kind of, kind of do multiple things here they give you the historical gamma exposure as you can see here and then there is also gamma exposure um, by strike price looks like this is uh, not coming up here for this stock here maybe let's look at one more here let's look at tesla all right it's um, it's handy to have these links handy you can just type in the simple instead of uh, putting it here waiting it sounds so on so forth let's uh, wait for this to come up it's loading up as you can see here let's give it a minute to open up tesla all right we got tesla right here you can see the gamma exposure level for tesla it can it tells you you know whenever you see these extremes you got to be slightly careful but my favorite is uh, to look at the by strike price here look we got gamma exposure by strike price look right here at uh, 182 which is around the current price it's a huge gamma exposure this tells you a lot of people are buying call option at about uh, 180 dollars uh, or so here there's a huge gamma exposure at 182.5 the moment this happens you, know, you have a huge gamma exposure this tells you folks like um, individuals um, uh, they're buying the call option the moment you buy call option the the market maker they have to in turn uh, you know sell you the call option they have to hedge and buy actual stock based on the delta that's why these levels here the level that you see right now here 182 it's a pivotal level for tesla it, it can provide a good support because um, you know there is a high delta um, the moment it's a high delta because these um, you know these market makers they have to buy um, uh, stock itself uh, that can be a magnet it will pull the stock towards this value here which is 182.5 so that's what's going on it's a good to understand the the gamma exposure level by strike price it, that can be a good good support level typically it pulls the stock towards this price here which is 182.5 i thought it's a cool thing to have in a platform like fintel many folks don't realize it all right so they got wealth of information here. you've got implied volatility option flow option sentiment option chain you don't need to go into a platform like think or swim here you know they got various information i love the way they're putting it here you can see expiration date you can change it you can hear the strike price bid ask implied volatility and all the wealth of information here you could uh, look at this we got calls at the top put at the bottom and so on so forth here you know my you know i love the way they are bringing up all the data together for you and you can have various information if you're into financials you can look at financials you can look at insiders and you can look at insider trades all in one you know simple platform here um the only thing it's lacking is uh, you know a 
good user interface with the searching sorting type abilities but otherwise it's got wealth of information so if you are a you know investor um, who is interest, interested in short squeeze the gamma squeeze and also the fundamental type investing i think it's a good good tool the value is incredible it's just about uh, 25 dollars if it's an annual uh, subscription a wealth of information including option flow and the leaderboards and wealth of information i recommend for the do-it-yourself type investor who can put a little more work uh, to really go into maybe one more platform maybe a charting platform like trading view and um, you know also you, you know folks have to be a little bit savvy with excel so that we can play around and get the list of stocks that you want just like we did and import them into a platform like trading view and look at the charts and so on and so forth so with that thank you very much happy investing and trading please subscribe